So globally, the sea level is rising by over three millimetres a year and it's accelerating. Now the Tamar is an estuary, so it's defined by its tides. And it has a pretty interesting tide because it's quite large, it's two to three metres, and it gets bigger as it travels inland. So by the time we get to Launceston, where we are standing here today, it is three to four metres. It takes around two hours for the high tide to travel from Lowhead to Launceston, all the way up the estuary. But the incoming tide is faster and stronger in comparison to the outgoing tide. So that means that sediments and pollutants and things that are caught up and suspended in the water column tend to be transported and deposited further up the estuary, which is why we had persistent sedimentation in the upper estuary. The CSIRO has projected that around Tasmania we can expect to see 23 centimetres of sea level rise by 2050 and because sea level is accelerating that's we expect up to 85 centimetres by 2100. So what that means is that we can expect to see higher high tides and higher storm surges but also some more subtle changes. So we would expect that the water will get saltier further up the estuary and that sediment transport and deposition might change and that there could be some different patterns of erosion. We can also expect that storm surge height that we might have expected to see only once in a hundred years will be more like one in every two years by 2070 because of that rising mean sea level. Uh, to build resilience to sea level rise, we first need to keep improving our understanding of the changes that we're likely to see. Secondly, we need to help people be more prepared for those uh, more regular flood uh, type events that could occur. And lastly, uh, the most obvious one is to do what we can to protect our assets. And that's not just our infrastructure and our communities, but also our natural assets to protect our biodiversity and those ecosystems which support so much of our recreation, fishing, as well as aquaculture. Some typical solutions are what we call hard solutions, where we use concrete to basically build levees or create, construct break walls. Um, but because the Tamar is 70 kilometres from Lowhead to Launceston, we have a greater range of opportunities to maybe embrace some softer options such as engineered ecosystems which can create more habitat for ecosystems. But the role of an engineered ecosystem is to create more friction, to absorb that tidal energy, to absorb those storm surges, but also to create the extra storage volume in the event of a flood.